Annie just didn't want to live with anybody. She wanted to be able to make her own choices. She wanted to be able to go shopping when she wanted to. She wanted to go to bed when she wanted to. I go out shopping. I go out to eat. I like to do a lot of 5Ks. We did look at group home quite heavily. When Allison brought up this apartment and, and the technology, and it just seemed like a good fit. In our 24-hour care, we had had a number of individuals that had come on board with us that were probably overserved, and realistically, they didn't need to have staff there all the time. And we just kind of thought, okay, let's start something new. And then we started working with the company Synjistics. We have kind of a multi-stage process. The first stage is working with our project manager and really figuring out the wants and the needs of the sites and then tailoring specific equipment around that. After that, we hold what's called a kickoff meeting. The kickoff meeting is really our time to go through the strengths and weaknesses of the person served and develop a very personalized plan. When a client is looking if IBD is a good fit for them or not, we're able to give them the options of what's available for starting with their apartment, of what area of town would they like to live in, and then going to here's all the technology options available. We'll talk about the door sensor, we'll talk about the bed sensors, the med sensors, and how they can utilize the 24-hour staff so that they are able to live in their own apartment. And then with the team, we address the areas of concern. One of the biggest things we do to start that conversation is we have a readiness checklist that covers all of the areas where you or I or anyone would need possible supports in or areas of strength. We would go over that with the team and make a plan of how this is going to go. So when Angie started using technology with CCRI, um, her team really wanted every form of extra support put in place, making sure that we used all the technology available. Utilizing technology in collaboration with the provider and the existing workforce that we do have can allow those individuals to work more efficiently, provide supports in new ways, and a number of instances continue to allow a provider to grow in the areas and the types of service they're able to provide. How can we help sort of pull staff back from site and make their time on site more meaningful? When Angie first moved into the program, she had lots of different technology through time, we've taken away some of her sensors. At the beginning, staff probably had to call daily, and now it might be once a month, staff are gonna give her a call for that reminder. But she has gained that independence and that routine that it's almost like she doesn't need it. More often than not, we find once people get this room to sort of run that they really take the ball and go with it. The relief off my mind that I don't have to worry about her 24-7. I don't have to worry, I wonder what she's doing tonight, or is she okay? The people that are able to live independently with this program, it's been awesome um, watching them succeed. <laughs>